Hi, I'm Jeff from Jeff's Bronco Graveyard, and this week's tech tip is shocks. Basically, in the Ford world, you have three different types of shocks. You have a shock that has a loop in the bottom, which a bolt will go through, and a stake in the top, which has a nut on it. Then you have, again, a loop loop where a bolt would go through and go onto a mount. And the third one is a stake stake. Most of these stake stake ones were on your 73 to 79 F250, F350 four wheel drives. Kind of looks like a steering stabilizer, but it's not. There is a difference. Shocks, you probably want to look for like a 30, a 70 30 valving, where your steering stabilizer is a 50 50, so it has its fluid back and forth. If you use a shock on the front, you're going to have trouble steering your truck. Uh, most Broncos use the loop stake in the front from 66 to 96 and same thing with the 78 to 96 Bronco and 80 to 96 F-150. Your later trucks in the rear after 67 all the Broncos used a loop loop in the rear where your earlier 73 to 79 F-150s use a loop stake. Uh, we have all different kinds of combinations of shocks. Basically what you have to do is get the running length of your vehicle. Uh, if you bought one of our lift kits, we already have predetermined shocks that fit them for you, so it makes it really easy. But if you have a lift kit on your truck now or don't know, the easiest way is to measure it. That way you get the correct shock. Because basically, if you get too short a shock, you won't get enough travel out of it and it'll pull the shock apart. Or if you get too long of shocks, it'll compress too far and you'll bottom the shocks out and having a really, that'll give you a really harsh ride. We'll use this Bronco to demonstrate how to measure a shock. What we're looking for is the running length of a shock. What you do is you take your tape measure and you go up top here, which is mount, mounting point A and down to mount, measure down to mounting point B, which is on this shop truck here is 17 and a half inches. That is the running length of the shock. Uh, so basically we, we're looking for a shock that would be, that number would be in the, in between the extended and collapsed length of the shock that would give you the correct application for your vehicle.